Hey folks, Black Ross here, and welcome back to the PlayStation 2 Legacy, where we take a look at the vast library of games that's available for the PlayStation 2. In today's game, we're going to be playing through Hard Rock Casino. Now, I know what some of you are going to be asking me, and that is, why are we diving into this? Well, what if I told you I had a fast fascination for being in a casino? Not to say that I would want to go into a casino, mostly because I'd be afraid I would have a gambling addiction and I wouldn't be able to break out of it. But that's aside the point. The point is that if you want to be part of that casino lifestyle, I would highly advise not to try it. But instead, see if there's a video game variant of it and see what you can do. Because, quite frankly, that would be the safest way, you know? The most you're probably going to be spending if you do purchase a probably more modern day feel of uh, casino video games and stuff like that, it'd probably be around, what, maybe 20, 30 bucks at most? So really, you're not spending that much more money than you would if you went to an actual casino and lose more of it than you should have. But we're going to play a little bit of it and see what it's like. Obviously, there's poker tournament, quick plays, but we're going to be looking into the adventure mode of this. To think that there's an adventure mode, I'm fascinated to see how this is. Because it would be one thing if you had like a series of mini games and stuff like that. That'd be fine. But no, this has an adventure mode, which means you actually partake in a character story involving being in a casino. So let's dive into it, shall we? Okay, this is a weird way of how to submit your name on here. Like, what? We're in the name customization part of it. Here's how that works. Which is already annoying as it is. Basically, you have it, then you press the directional button to proceed on to the next letter. I am not used to that. But I don't know if I can put the whole thing, but it'd be interesting if we could. Nope, that's as far as we can go. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Well, in terms of character selections... Wait, are they all randomly generated? Wow. We've... So we got your basic standard of looking characters. But then we have random selection of like how they'll look and stuff. That's just kind of weird. Oh, honestly, that looks more brown than red. Oh, gosh. That's really a color tone there. Okay, that's red right there. We don't really get a good-looking hat, sadly. Kind of wish there was... You know what, we're going to see if any of them actually has a decent hat, which... Okay, from the looks of it, it's all the same, which... Kind of sucks. I'm not a fan of the hat. I kind of like this look. I do like it. So I think we'll stick with this one. I like it. I like it. Chapter 1. The Arrival. Alright, we're here. Time to make some serious coins. Yeah, we're gonna rock at the Hard Rock. You're not wrong, buddy. I'll turn this brand into a cool million before your first beer. Well, you got five seconds then. <laughs> so, that's two rooms for tonight. Man, this place is swank. Don't you worry. We'll be taking the whole top floor once we've cleaned up at the tables. That's fine, but I'll still need to see a credit card. Okay, so we got a little bit of a story here. When anything at the rock on um, progressive slot machines was a maximum bet. The big rise hold'em table win a four times bet. Play ten hands correctly in a row. As the shooter, keep the dice for at least 10 throws. Double your money playing bracket? 
our final goal. You must complete four goals to unlock this challenge. Okay, so we have a series of things to do, it looks like. So we choose what to do first. Do we double our money? Do we actually double our money? I mean, we got a thousand, so... I feel like a thousand is like a... I get, don't get me wrong, a thousand dollars is a lot of money. But when you're in a casino, a thousand dollars seems like that'll go by real quickly. This is just me thinking out loud, so we're gonna find out what happens. Let's just do, uh, let's do progressive slots. I think this would be the, huh? Oh, okay, so we'll just exit out. Oh, okay. Huh, enter poker room. Hmm, enter sports book. What the? Wait, what? Is this a slot machine? Win a car. Does the car pay for anything? Okay, so I guess points is cash? I may be wrong. But would the car give us anything? Like, could we use it for actual transportation to other locations? I don't know. Um, and yeah, let's try one round. Well, we almost got something. I'd be afraid to blow the whole thing. But I'm curious as to, like, if we get anything after we spend so much. And so far we've already blown through ten. I don't know which one would be a limit. To stop at, uh, ten or twenty for not winning anything. Because I feel like if we blow all of it in one go, that's just it. It's game over. I know there's going to be somebody out there. There's somebody out there that's going to make the comment of, like, this is the ultimate RNG that no one should be a part of. And you're right. It is a humongous number generator. In the worst possible way, too, when you think about it. But at the same time, it's like... Eh, you know, casinos can be fun, you know, if you're just there just to experience it, you know, you're not there trying to win money. Because if you're trying to go there to win money, you're gonna find out you lose money. Oh, okay, we got $10 back. Okay, cool. So we did win something. But anyway, like I was saying, if you just go there just to experience the atmosphere and stuff like that, then it's not that bad, because you don't have the mindset of, like, you're going to get something. And instead, it's just mostly just for the thrill of it, you know? Whereas people who actually go in there with the expectations of actually winning it big. That's that's a bad omen. That's, that's whenever you go, he's going to be broke by the end of the night. Ooh, there we go. We won. Which is $15. That's not bad, but that's not great so far. Hmm. I'd be afraid to I'd be afraid to continue on this slot machine not knowing what it would give me. Let's enter these actual slot machines. Ooh, wow. Video can no. Okay. We got different casino slots, which, that's pretty cool. It gives you a different variety. What the? Tournaments? There's, there's a slot machine tournament? What? Let's go for this one. Let's see. Okay, interesting. Okay, so it's kind of like the, uh thing that I'm familiar with, you know, where it's like, dash, 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 you know, stuff like that. There we go. It's probably the worst ideal to do, but sometimes you never know. What the? Okay. Got four bucks out of it. 
Okay, five bucks on that. It's not a bad thing. It's kind of good doing it this way because you're going to get back an amount regardless. may not be a high amount, but it's a good amount regardless. At least you're always guaranteed a chance of being able to win. You don't lose your money so quickly. I mean, yeah, if you do fewer ones, you get a multiplier out of it, but it's not worth losing that much thinking that you're going to get something out of it. Does that make sense? may have worded it weirdly. The worst part is a person could do this all day and not realize he's wasting his time. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, I think that takes care of the slot machine portion. Let's go do a poker round. No limit Texas Hold'em. Limit Texas Hold'em. Let's just do a regular uh, Texas Hold'em limit standard. Uh, ooh, high stakes. Eek. Let's just do... 100, 200. Let's just do that. You must have at least two. Ooh. Never mind. Well, ouch. Continue. Okay. I feel that my acting skills are nearly the equal for my gambling skills. Hmm. You look just like Harry O's stunt double in Time hmm. to Mean 4. Have you ever been stabbed 32 times? Call. Let's see. Um... Call. This casino hmm, is crummy. Harry O has worked with blue screens with more style than this place. Call. Oh, he wins it. Okay, well, that makes sense. I see the jack, and I only have a six, so that's fair. Uh, I see what this type of guy is. He's trying to scare people off on the first round. Who is your agent? I never Let's see. Call. Hmm. Call. I'll raise you. Call, then. Does Wait, I lost? Make you feel insignificant? Oh, he had two sevens. So, in other words, he has a three of a kind. Youch. Never mind. Thought I had the advantage on that one, but I guess I was proven wrong. Oh, he folded that time. Hmm. This could work to my advantage, but only if I can get one or two different cards. We'll call for now. Call. Ooh. Let's see. Can I can I get them to be tricked? Raise. If you're trying to push your script on me, don't bother. I am still trying to get through road trip to Newark. Raise. Ugh. She had a better hand than I did. She had a seven, I had a three. Crap! The mindset is to try to get them to think that they know something, but you try to trick them out of it. Or in some cases, scare them out of it. 
I usually try to stick with it as best as I can. Need to try to get some back. Harry O will allow She must have an ace. Quite the bargain. Okay, well. Huh? Oh, his nine. Okay, that's what made the win. I think I know Texas and Hold'em, and then sometimes I don't. This is why I don't go gambling. I think I know the game, but I don't. Are you in the, in the Ooh, I won that one! I'm afraid I wasn't even paying attention! I won that round, yes, and I've got a bigger uh, pot for once. Let's try to get back into like 900 if we can. I'm gonna raise on this one. Ooh! Oh, and he got a good hand. Ah. Uh, okay, never mind. Again, I think I know things and then I was proven wrong. There ain't no way he's got a better hand than that. Oh, I've got this. I have to have got this. What? Oh, he's got a 10. Never mind. Boy, I really suck. Wait. It could work to my advantage. Yes, raise. I've got this. What? Gosh. And here I thought I had it. Okay, my bad. Enter sports book. Let's take a look at this. Horse racing. Okay, let's see. Hmm. 17 to 1. Probably the highest. Hmm. Let's see how this turns out. It's hard to actually see, really. But it looks like I lost. Yep, I lost. Youch. What the? We have a new batch. Hot Love Highway. Let's just stick with one and see what happens. Ooh, payout. You know what? Let's do this. Let's see if I can't get back into this. Hot Love Highway, come on, win this! Oh, come on, come on! Why are you all the way back there? Okay. All right, well, let's see here. Um, Dakota Pride. Let's do that. Okay, this time I gotta win. Like, I gotta win something, right? I can only lose so many times. Yay, I won 200 back. Wait, all three of mine? Okay, well, so the lower the odds, 
or in this case, the lower the numbers, the better the chance of winning, I suppose. Which I probably shouldn't be thinking that way, because there's a good chance I could always lose. Enter Table Game Arena. Ooh, Blackjack. Casino War? What's that? There's that, so... Let's see how this turns out. Mm, yeah, why not? So let's see. Uh, move bet chip. Um. Yeah, let's just see how this. Okay, I lose. It is so eighty-three. Ooh, I won! Okay, nice! Uh... This is just random, so... That girl in a bikini is... Huh, okay. Shouldn't do this. Did someone just page me? I don't even see the hand. Can you moonwalk? Break dance? Thought not. Bet you don't even hacky sack. Sweep. Oh, I'm about to say, surely to goodness. We win some, but then we would go back to losing. Another loss. Yeah, I'm out. Gosh, that was rough. I got treated dirty. Well, let's just go ahead and spin whatever I've got, right? Okay, we're getting some money back. And we are officially broke. We went out in one night. We ran out of money. <laughs> wow. Well, that's indication as to why I should never go into a casino. This is that very reason why I should never be in the casino. Period. But it was fun. It was fun. To know that there was an adventure mode, I was actually kind of surprised. I think I kind of get the ideal, you know, do the list of adjust objectives in per chapter and progress through the adventure itself. I didn't do any of it, unfortunately, so that's to be expected for me. I didn't do any of the objectives. I got one founded, but I didn't double my money. And boy, did I found out the hard way that it does not work. It does not work at all. So, at any rate though, guys, I have to say, I kind of like it. I do, li I do like this. I do. I've always kind of thought about of a concept of being able to be in a casino adventure type thing. Just wish the character customization was a little bit better, but this is PS2, so character customization wasn't a big thing as it is today's day and age. But it was pretty good, not gonna lie. If you ever get a chance, check this game out. It's not too expensive, thankfully, so you can get this relatively cheap. Most casino games are relatively cheap, especially on the PlayStation 2. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode. This is Black Cross sign off. Catch you guys later.